Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can view a heat map on TradingView. So let's get right into it. TradingView is a very useful service which you can use for a lot of things. You can create a watch list where you can monitor all stocks and options which you would like to trade in the future and just monitor their prices and how their prices are changing. Uh, you can also view their charts to see how they changed over time. Uh, you can modify those charts through the use of indicators. You can actually trade if you're connected to a broker and you can view a heat map and several other tools which are similar. Now, as you can see, I am on the main page of the service on TradingView. And as you can see, I have this open. I can view a lot of things here on the main page. However, to actually view a heat map, what you want to do is go into products. As you can see here, if I hover over products, a drop down menu appears and I can choose from super charts, screeners, economic calendars, and so on and so forth. What you want to do is hover over screeners. And once you're here, you have the screeners for stocks, stock 2.0, Forex, crypto pairs, crypto coins, and ETF. However, what we are interested in are the heat maps. As you can see, they are down here. Now you can choose a heat map for either stocks, for crypto, for ETF. That depends entirely on you. However, let's say, for example, I want stocks. Let me just go and click on the stock button right here. And as you can see, it shows me the heat map. It is selected into or divided into tech services, electronic technology, finance, retail trade, consumer non-durables, non consumer durables, commercial services, and so on and so forth. And it is a very useful tool to just check how they are moving. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys in another video.